Okay, we're going to get started with Paul Seewald. Uh, first question for Paul. Jack. How you doing? Great. Great. Um, we spoke a little bit last night. Um, Tori mentioned uh, today that he felt that maybe some of the you know extra time off in between um, uh, games and series really helped you kind of recharge and, and uh, lock in some of your command and that was that's the biggest issue for uh, your effectiveness this postseason would, would you feel like that's pretty much accurate yeah you know came over wasn't nearly as crisp um, as I was in Seattle which was a little frustrating maybe for the first six weeks and um, you really want to get off to a good start and make a good first impression with the new team and I didn't really do the best that I that I could on that but we worked really hard on trying to make sure that we had everything clicking as, as late in the season as we possibly could. And um, I just feel like I kind of started to get everything clicking right into the postseason. And um, yeah, we've done a great job of making sure that with all these off days, I've been fresh and make sure that um, not getting rusty, but just fresh and crisp. And, and uh, it's led to a pretty good postseason so far. Two more for Paul. Jesse on the right. Hey, Paul. Um, what, what do you think is important? to your team's success in terms of making sure the game, the result is just the game and not because it's game seven? Yeah. Um, no. It's just a regular season game is the best way to try and make it look. You know, obviously we know it's game seven in the NLCS. The winner gets to go to the World Series. But when you start to put too much pressure on a result rather than a process is, is when you start to get out of your process and start to uh, not perform the way you can. And um, we could lose today and the season would be over and you know that's just that's a reality but we're going to give it everything we have to try and fight and make sure that we have games next week so um brandon is ready and that's you know that's the most important thing and i know the guys are in there are ready we just you know the vibe feels very like hey just go out there and see what we can do bob yeah well i mean i know spring training doesn't mean much but when you saw these guys in the spring training, did any thought come to your mind like, hey, they're a lot better than people may think? Didn't even get to see them in spring training. It's, you know, as a veteran reliever, I don't really watch a lot of the spring training games. If I'm not pitching, I rarely tune in other than checking the box score on my app. So, um, you know, hadn't even really thought about it. You know, Seattle, Arizona, not going to play each other, not really, you know, kind of concentrated on them unless it got to the World Series. So. Uh, you know, kind of, you know, obviously MLB Network is on in every single clubhouse as you, as you, you know, play all season. So you kind of see like, hey, they have the best record in baseball in June and in July. So um, was very impressed with how they had it first, se first half of the season. And, you know, then I come over and I get traded and I get to see a little bit of what they have and um, just a bunch of resilient guys that, that just keep battling. And, and I think last night was the perfect example of that with our backs up against the wall. And uh, we responded just as we have all season and, um, you know, proud to be here. Nick on the left. Paul, how does the kind of like distribution of the pressure feel to you? It it, it kind of seems to me like maybe the the team that was expected to be here and and is you know kind of lost their way into a game seven now. Maybe there's a little bit more on them. Does that feel that way to you? Yeah, you know, that's really good battle tested team that went to the World Series last year. They know what it's like to deal with pressure and um, you know. There's pressure on both teams. Like I said, the loser season is over tonight, whether uh, whether you're the favorite or the underdog. So uh, there's pressure on both sides, and whoever handles it the best will will get to celebrate at the end of the day. And um, we have just felt like we've played with our backs against the wall all postseason, maybe all season. Mm -hmm. um, so we have, I think, we've played in that in that underdog mode more so far this year. So I think uh, if we can just keep playing like that, that's our that's our best chance. Um, Pressure is huge, and, and everyone knows that, but the be team that handles it the best is, is probably going to celebrate. On the left side of the middle. Paul, when you get this deep into a series, the top relievers on one team, the top hitters on another will have seen each other a few times. Do you view that as the same battle every time out? And if not, uh, does seeing each other over and over favor one side or another? Yeah, it's tough, you know. If you keep getting guys, then maybe the hitters feel like, man, he's, he's got my number. Or, you know, for me, I only have two pitches, and, and all those guys know the two pitches that I have. So I'm not throwing anything crazy out there that they haven't seen before. It's just a matter of executing, I think. It's the most important thing. As a pitcher, if you can execute your pitches, you're going to have a better chance. And um, if we don't execute and the hitters, you know, get those mistakes and they execute, that's, you know, that's when they're going to win. So, um, yeah, it's, it's different having a seven-game series and, and facing those guys as many times as we have. But... I don't know if there's necessarily one way that 
you know, favor somebody or not. Um, they say that you know, more at-bats helps the hitters, but you know, if you feel like you have something on somebody, maybe, maybe the pitchers have the advantage. It's, it's hard to say. I, I feel bad saying 50-50, but I think it's probably just 50-50 that um, whoever executes the best is, has the advantage. I'll say that. Anything else for Paul? Jack? I'm just thinking, you know, from your time coming over, um, what was the most like surprising thing to you or unexpected thing to you about this team, the players, the organization, and who helped you transition? Which coach, player, manager helped you transition um, the easiest into this club? Yeah. Um, I'd say probably Corbin Carroll is even better in person than he is, you know, watching highlights on TV. I think that's probably what caught me by surprise most. I, I was so lucky to have Julio as the Rookie of the Year last year, and now I get to have him as the Rookie of the Year on my team. And um, I'm just very fortunate to get to surround myself with absolute superstars like that. So I think he just plays so, he plays even faster in person than, you know, the stat sheet says or, or what you would see on TV. So that's probably what kind of surprised me the most about the team was that he just really is everything that anybody could write about him. Um, Getting acclimated, I, just your teammates is the most important thing. And for me, the bullpen guys, that's who I spend the most time with. The pitchers, you know, we have a different stretch time than the hitters. We, you know, the hitters have their meetings, we have ours. And um, just spending more time with the pitchers. And um, I have found that relief pitchers are goofy and silly in every single city and every single team. And it didn't really take me that long to, uh, to get to be one of the guys. Any last ones for Paul? All right, Paul, thanks for coming in. Thanks, Jim. Okay, we'll get started with Geraldo Perdomo. First question, we'll start in the uh, left side towards the middle aisle. A lo largo de una temporada ustedes crean sus eh, sus rutinas eh, previos a cada juego, pero cómo lidiar con las emociones hoy de, de un juego 7 y al mismo tiempo si has recibido algún consejo o llamada de alguien para de cara a este juego? No, bueno, para mí en primer lugar eh, juego 7, juego 6 el mismo juego, nada, te, nada tiene que cambiar, ¿sabes? Tenemos que ir allá y darlo todo, sin importar que sea un juego 7, un juego 6. Nosotros estábamos 2 y 0, y hoy estamos con la serie empatada, ¿sabes? Es, es, es prácticamente lo mismo. Yo creo que no tiene que haber presión o algo por el estilo. Creo que es la misma pelota. Lo único que es, uno se va a casa, otro va a la serie mundial. Esa es la única diferencia. Just for everybody else in the room, the question was, if anybody, I mean, along the season, everybody got their own routines. He asked if there's a particular routine for game seven. And Geraldo's answer was, either it's game seven, six, or any game, you should treat it the same way. I mean, the difference is at the end of the day, somebody is going to the, to the World Series and the other team goes home. But before that, it's it. It should be the same. O mejor dicho, el núcleo del equipo joven, tú, Moreno, propio Marte, Carroll, eh, pueden tomar a su favor esa juventud para el manejo de la presión en un juego como hoy. Yo me traducí primero. So the question is if the youth uh, group that is within the team, I mean, if the approach that they're taking in general, it's it's actually helping in in manage the pressure. Uh, yo creo que yo creo que sabe cada quien piensa diferente. Yo creo que que sí. O sea, nosotros como jóvenes y y como te dije la otra vez, lo que hemos jugado en en invernal, yo creo que podemos sobrevivir en en todo tipo de situaciones. Tú sabes que al final eh, en nuestro país es un poquito más fuerte que aquí. ¿Sí entiende? Entonces yo creo que Podemos, podemos manejar, claro, eh, como, como, como dije anteriormente, nadie se esperaba que los Diamond Bay iba a estar aquí en un juego 7 y gracias a Dios en primer lugar lo, lo, lo estamos, ¿entiendes? Pues entonces, ¿por qué hay que tener presión? So he thinks they're, they're prepared for the situation. Most of them uh, had been exposed in winter leagues, in environments where winning its priority over anything. So... Uh, they he he believed that they're they're ready for the challenge uh and like he's addressed in previous interviews uh you know not a lot of people were thinking that they were going to be this far alone uh 
and uh, here they are that, that kind of prove that they're ready for it. Jack? Um, you guys had to fight and claw you know, so much over the last month of the regular season just to get in the playoffs. Um, how much did that allow you to then just relax once you got in and say, this is who we are, we're going to play? It's his job today. Producer. OK. Que se ustedes, o sea, que al final de la temporada tuvieron que pelear para ganarse poder estar en los playoffs. Ya una vez que entraron, ¿qué, qué tanto el haber tenido esa mentalidad de estar peleando los ayudó a relajarse porque ya estaban adentro? You know, like, um, it was basically, basically um, um, it was very like, like patient for us, like to be here. I remember when we went to uh, Milwaukee for that series. I, I I feel it's because maybe you I don't know you guys, but a lot of people don't believe in us. I think that's why we we put like uh, the patience we play right now. You know, like uh, to prove everyone like we can do it. I think that's all. You know. Anything else for Geraldo? Take back left. Wow, only three questions? I got you over Ooh. here. <laughs> uh, because uh, people have not believed in you guys for most of the season, even for most of the postseason, does that make you guys more relaxed because you nobody else is putting pressure on you guys? Or do you feel more pressure to try to prove everybody wrong? I, I feel like uh, we don't have we don't have to be pressing, you know. Um, like I told him, like uh, every key playing Dominican is the pressure. It's a lot of pressure over there. So that's a scenario over there. I prepare you to be in this scenario right now. Uh, for us and for my teammate, uh, I feel like uh, we relax because uh, we know we need to fight, you know. And to the to the end of the day, uh, to the end of the day, like somebody had to win. You know, so for me, like uh, for me, especially for me, it's like uh, simple. You know, Alex on the left. Um, what games have you played in that kind of you can kind of compare to this moment, either in the Dominican Winter Leagues or in minor leagues, or any kind of like do or die kind of games? Uh, the playoff, the playoff in win in winter ball. Yeah, like I told him the the other day, like uh, when you play Agla against Lisey, that's the most two famous team in Dominican. It's a lot of pressure, you know. Because if if you make error or a strikeout or any any kind of play like uh, everybody boo or anything like that, like it's more hard because it's our language, you know. Like here, sometimes you you just like uh, forget right away. You know what I mean? But like uh, like I said, like we don't have to 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 have pressure. Like I think like we prepare so far for this moment and we just we just need to fight. That's all. How have you performed in those kind of games? Uh, <laughs> um, I just try to have fun, you know, try to relax my mind and try to get really good, uh, uh, try to be focused what I need to do, first of all, and um, at the play, try to get on base, and uh, when I play differently, just, just relaxing and sing to God, you know. That's all. For me, it's just being like relaxing. Nick? Uh, you were talking last night about taking the crowd out of the game early. You think that's going to be important tonight? Like, how big do you think the first inning could end up being for who wins this game tonight? Uh, it's very important for us, you know? Um, like I told you last night, like uh, we did and against the Dodgers. Uh, we just had to put like, a couple run, and the crowd probably will be, it would be like, like down, you know? Uh, Sometimes, uh, depending how the situation going, they they will be like very very loud. But for us, it's just like I told you, like I don't care about the crowd. Like honestly, I don't know for my team, but me personally, I don't care. Which which we just going to play no matter what. But if we put a little bit more like pressure to the to that to that guy to the crowd, like we can play like more and more and more better. That's what I guess. Anything else for Rodo? All right, thanks for coming in. You too.